This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It was time for Volkswagen to celebrate 60 years in the U.S. market, and to note the occasion, they took the wraps off of another variation of the successful golf platform with the all-wheel drive, all-track wagon. And in a nod to brand loyalist, the Beetle got a fresh treatment with the denim edition. The show was also the first big event for Cadillac, which is now headquartered in New York, away from the rest of the GM brands. Their latest offering, a full-size sedan, the CT6. So it is prestige American luxury personified. As you can clearly see, it has a bold silhouette dominated by a long hood and a sleek upper body. The CD6 strikes a true luxury proportion, but it's so much more. It is also unmistakably a Cadillac, which means it's a driver's car. The Lincoln division of Ford is also dipping its corporate toe in that same pool with revealable full-size concept Continental sedan. Privately, executives for both brands admit the attraction of a major luxury market in China is a key factor in developing these platforms. Speaking of luxury brands, Infinity presented the production version of the QX50 crossover, which falls into the space once occupied by the FX Ladies platform. And, and alongside, there was a concept of the QX30 crossover, a descendant of the old EX crossover. Jaguar's XF all-aluminum body arrived in New York after performing a high-wire act in London. This is the latest iteration of the sedan, which first came to the North American market in 2008. The brag here is a lighter vehicle with much more technology. On the truck side of the brand, Land Rover is offering the ultra-luxury autobiography SUV with the SV edition, with interior appointments to make a mobile CEO happy while still capable of driving on nearly any surface on the planet. The new Boxster Spider. Porsche went a little old school with a reworked Boxster Spider convertible. Of course, it will have the latest in performance and handling technology while featuring exterior lines that don't stray too far from its heritage. And of course, it isn't a true auto show event unless Kia brings in a live band. This time they provided the soundtrack for the unveiling of the new Optima sedan. Kia is staying very close to what has been successful for the midsize with upgrades to lighting, interior, and chrome accenting. After a long delay, Nissan is finally reviving the Maxima sedan with a floating roofline and a V-shaped accent on the front grille. It will also come with a reworked 3.5 liter V6 engine. This completely redesigned 8th generation model signals the return of the four-door sports car. From the inside out, the new Maxima is unlike any sedan you've seen. Compared to the previous generation model, it's 2.2 inches longer, 1.3 inches lower, 82 pounds lighter. Longer, wider, lower, and lighter. If you see a theme here, let us know. That also applies to the redesigned Chevrolet Malibu as they up the ante in the midsize segment. In addition, there will be a hybrid version of the sedan with a mid 40 mile per gallon fuel economy promised by General Motors. And midsize SUVs or crossovers, if you want, are still on the scene. Hyundai is trying to regain some lost ground through the redevelopment of the Tucson with upscale styling. Like the sedans, it's longer than the previous model. The drivetrain has been reworked with a six-speed transmission instead of the expected CVT gearbox. Well, we, uh, we sell a dual-clutch transmission with Veloster and also with our Sonata Eco model. Now we're expanding the availability of the dual-clutch transmission to Tucson. Uh, but we also have a large range of products with the conventional automatic, our six-speed automatic that we've designed in-house. Toyota, which has been in the small SUV segment for years with the RAV4, is now offering a hybrid version with an upscale power plant and an interior, as well as a package pricing deal on the latest and safety suite options. The Lexus branch of the family figured it was overdue for a makeover on the RX platform. The luxury small SUV gets new front and rear treatment and enough new luxury features to make a Silicon Valley buyer happy. The upgrades come at a time when entry and near-luxury competitors are upping the ante with new technology. For those who love the thrill of a basic sports car, the long-awaited Mazda MX-5 made an appearance. And yes, folks, there will be Skyactiv drivetrain technology. Also, upmarket versions will come with lane departure and blind spot monitoring options. At last, Mitsubishi is showing a real car that will be built. 
the Outlander made its official debut. The company which made its name as a lower cost entry model is going upscale with improved sound deadening materials, a more tech friendly interface and improved fuel economy. But no one has ignored the desire for small urban sized vehicles. The Honda Civic concept is very, very close to what the production model will be with a more aggressive styling approach. Chevrolet has also gone all in with the restyled Spark. This tries to address some of the shortcomings North American drivers found in the first model and include an access portal for the latest technology applications as well. Cyan, which was noted at one time for thinking outside of the box, has taken its design there with the brand's first ever sedan, the IA. The company is also committing to the five-door IM hatchback in an effort to attract younger buyers who still have an interest in customizing whatever they drive off the showroom floor. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.